Hello YouTube, Tim here. Sorry about the cicadas, but there's not much I can do about that. Something I can do is demonstrate a new bow that I'm working on. Hopefully by now you've seen the Persian or North Indian Mughal bow that I was making. And this is where it is right now. I may want to deepen the deflex of the limb and increase the reflex here in the, the Kasan eye area but for now I'm pretty satisfied with it. I made these areas almost round, meaning that they will be extremely stiff. There's not going to be any flexing or bending there. It's, again, 5 inches of PVC on the outside, 7 on the inside for half inch PVC. Just gra gracefully, gradually curved forward. It's very characteristic. They're at a much lower angle than the Ottoman Turkish bows. So let's go ahead and test its weight. The brace height is just over six and a half, seven inches. So right now, reading zero, I've never drawn it. I'm a little, little nervous. I always am with the first time I draw a boat. And I love watching the bow uncurl into a full drawn shape. 26 pounds at 20 inches. 32 at 24. So far, so good. 40 pounds at 28 inches. Something we should talk about. I know this came up in the PVC archery and crafting community before. How I'm measuring. I don't care for IBO, AMO. I care for what makes sense to me. What makes sense to me is measuring distance from the belly of the bow or the back side of the bow where it cradles in your hand to the point where the string is drawn to. So I know it came up a while ago, but there it is. So let's say 40 pounds at 28 inches. Let me try 29. I like to overdraw it just a little bit just to make sure there aren't going to be any problems. So far it looked good. And a little bit faster. Forty-three pounds. I don't see any signs of failure. I don't see any signs that it's becoming dangerous. In fact, it looks spectacular. There it is. Now, in the next few days, you can look forward to me getting this bow decorated painted in a hopefully somewhat traditional style and then I'll, I'll finally do a shooting and a chronograph test if we have a nice cloudy sky. I talked with Nick <clears throat> excuse me, I talked with Nick about that and he suggested using a bed sheet suspended about you know, four feet above the chronograph during a normal sunny clear day that should provide an equivalent to you know, the nice diffuse light provided by cloud cover. The little diffusers that come with the crony just don't cut it. So again, thanks for everybody who helped me there. Jacob Mountain Bow Works, I'm glad you made your Moogle bow. That really inspired me to get going and try something. Because I know people on YouTube have been asking me to, to make bows like this. So, this is a wonderful thing, and thank you for watching.